Well hello again everyone, welcome back, thanks for visiting once again. So today I'm at the uh, Fleet Air Arm Museum um, in Yeovilton or, or around Yeovilton um, and I've been given very privileged access um, today to have a look at something that may very well interest all of you. So I don't know what you know about the Fleet Air Arm Museum but the, the fact of the matter is that they have one of the largest collections of fairy aircraft um, in the world. And this includes things like the Fulmar and so on and so forth, going back many, many years. So this is one of the enduring unique features of, uh, of uh, the Fleet Air Arm Museum. Now, what you're looking at here is the brand new location for the Fairy Barracuda build. So there is no little bit of noise in the background there. That's speakers of jet aircraft floating over. There aren't any floating aircraft over the top of us today, so lucky us. Um, so this is the, the new viewing area for the Barracuda build. Um, as far as we're aware, uh, and, and the Fleet Air Arm Museum are aware, there is in fact no, um, shall we say, living Barracuda anywhere in the world. And this aircraft is going to be assembled from um, scrap aircraft that have crashed or come to the ground in, in fairly unceremonious manners. And um, the project is designed, I think, and scheduled to last around about 10 years. So people will be able to come to exactly where I am, and there's a, a little panel fence there, as it were, and they'll be able to watch the progress of this build um, as they go, and there's a gentleman in the background there, and they'll be able to look through to the workshop here, and this is where the workshop um, build is going on. You can see tools and so on there. I'll just back out of that. Um, and eventually, after about um, probably 10 years they're scheduling, the, sh the fuselage of this aircraft should then be built. So what you can see here, just right in front of you, is um, the front section where the pilot would sit. That's the canopy. So as you probably know, the Barracuda has uh, a crew of three. It was a torpedo uh, and dive bomber. Um, and uh, was used in the Second World War. There's around, around about 2,000 of them built um, and consequently because most of them crashed or were scrapped or um, you know, dropped out of the sky for various reasons there aren't many of them left so this is going to be absolutely unique. It's being launched today Friday the 22nd or relaunched the build um, and you'll be able to see this on Barracuda Live they're calling it the big build or the big rebuild there um, and you'll be able to to see that happening and I urge you strongly please go along make a donation to the Barracuda project uh, to help get this aircraft this unique aircraft um, back on view so that people can come along and they can um, uh, they can see it um, for themselves uh, and, um, and and enjoy this in, in the rest of this magnificent museum. Um, in the rest of this hall, in Hall 4, you can see a whole number of different things here. There's a Harrier in the foreground and a Pegasus turbofan engine. Uh, you can also see um, a Fairy Delta II there. That was the aircraft that Peter Twist took to the world speed record in the mid-50s at some point. Um, and, of course, Concorde, I think, 002, although I've got the most excellent Dave Morris here, and um, he's going to be able to, to horn in at any stage he wants to correct me if I ever get this wrong. But as you can see, it's possible to establish the scale of Concorde here and the scale of the Fairy Delta II, amongst other things. But this isn't about that. This is about the Barracuda. Um, so do go and do some research on the Barracuda. I know I will be. Um, and um, come along and have a look. And obviously visit the Fleet Air Arm Museum. They're open pretty much of the time, I think Tuesday to Saturday. Um, and you can book in advance. Um, you can do that on their internet site. It's dead easy to do. Um, it's full of um, interesting people and full of, um, of knowledge here. So let's call it a day for this one and say thanks very much to everybody for that. Uh, particularly to Dave Morris, who I'm very, very lucky to have with me today. Thank you very much, Dave. I do appreciate that. Um, and we'll catch up with you another time. So thanks very much for tuning in, everybody. This is Zinzan out. Take care for now. Bye-bye.